Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to another edition of our SQL tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be discussing the usage of equijoins within the SQL environment. Now, what is an equijoin? Well, an equijoin is a method of relationship between uh, two or more tables. Now, uh, in order to perform equijoins, uh, you will need to use two or more tables and uh, populate these with data so we can generate some results. Uh, there are two other uh, types of joins I will discuss in these tutorials. Uh, one other being non-equijoins and the final self-joins. But uh, for this tutorial, I'll focus in on equijoins. Now, uh, in, our, in my examples, uh, I have a customer table here. Uh, the primary key of this table is ref number, and he, here are all the values uh, for this primary key. I then have another table called account, which is uh, labeled as ACK, A double C, and this has a primary key called ACKNO in, and all the values for ACKNO in here. Because the uh, account and customer tables pose a many many relationship uh, we need to create a new table called custac uh, and the custac table holds both primary keys uh, of both the account and customer tables as a compound foreign key which we discussed in one of the earlier tutorials and here is the joining table now what we want to do in the equijoin is display information from the customer table and the account table. Now let's have a look how we can achieve this. So say if we want to display the customer uh, from the customer table. So if we say select all fields from cust. We want to display the name of the customer along with a field from account say the date that certain customer opened his or her account in the system in order to do this we select the fields we want so cust dot name I think it was name I'll have another look start from cust Execute its name, yes. Uh, select cust.name and account.opened. Now, in order to access columns within tables, we need to use the period character. Uh, if you're familiar with object oriented programming, uh, you may uh, recognize this as a a class member and the function within it for example so if we have an instance of the class this is one of its member functions it works in a similar way so the customer table here is a column belonging to this table uh, these aren't necessary the prefix is if the fields are unique amongst the tables being used if we said um, select cust dot ref number comma cust ac dot ref number uh, then that is perfectly valid for the ref number field because we're it knows which table to get the ref number from if we say select ref number select ref number it's not it doesn't know where which tables to pull these ref numbers from but if these are unique you don't need the prefixes but it's good uh, practice to put them in so you know where the data is coming from so select the fields we want uh, from these are the tables we're using we're using all three tables in our relationship now we've included the tables in order to make our relationship from we need to uh, implement the where clause so uh, to define our equijoin relationship we can say where cust dot ref number is equal to cust ac dot ref number and cust ac dot acno is equal to ac dot acno. So what we have here is defining our relationship between three tables. If we were only defining a relationship between two tables, we'd only need one equijoin statement here. As we have three tables, we need two equijoin uh, statements. One linking cust to cust ac 
on its primary key and one link in CUST ACK on ACK using the ACK NO primary key. And as you can see we are using the prefixes as the column header is the same. So let's execute this. And as you can see uh, J. Doe opened his or her account on the 12th of November. Uh, J. Doe again opened his or her account on the 15th of December 99. J. Best, 6th of May. R. Best, 6th of May. Now, problems here, this might be a shared account, so it will be opened on the same date. As J. Doe, let's have a look why this is appearing twice. Execute. Uh, as you can see, we've got a JDO with ref number one two three. But if we uh, select it from the cust act, execute a one two three uh, appears twice in the uh, cust act table, which means JDO has two accounts uh, on this database. So it will display this user twice, even though it's a single person, because uh, he or she has two accounts and that is why JDO is appearing twice. So that is a brief look at equijoins within the SQL environment. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where we'll be looking at non-equijoins and after that self-joins. I've been Sean Grinsley, thank you for listening and good night.